Welcome in. Thanks for joining us here at 630. I'm Michael Clark. Carrie is off tonight. The Jones County Sheriff's Department recently took a drug trafficking case to the federal level. Our Emily Blackmar has the details on that process and what's next. The Jones County Sheriff's Department is actively pursuing cases through Project Safe Neighborhood, a program to remove menaces off the streets of Jones County. It's a lot easier and a lot faster to have them prosecuted through the federal side due to uh, the amount of arrests they've had, how many times they've been arrested for, for crimes, um, what they're doing in the community, you know, are they, are they being menaces, are they, are they repeat offenders, uh, are they selling dope with guns, whatever it is. One case is LaVaris Evans, a familiar face to the justice system. One guy we just prosecuted, LaVaris Evans, got 169 months in the federal uh, system because uh, the, the stuff that he does, he, he was a repeat offender, he, he was selling dope to poison our community, and this was just a way of, of sending a message to the community that I'm not playing with them. According to Sheriff Berlin, the federal level allows a person to be criminally charged for a misdemeanor, making the penalties more severe. They take a, in consideration of everything you've been charged with, plus the, the, the crimes that, that you've committed, and they make a threshold to, to show how many months that maybe they would be sentenced for, and then, that, and then the judge goes by that guideline to sentence them. Reporting in Jones County, Emily Blackmore, WDAM 7, on your side.